For our lamp, we used 1,000 milliliters of melted paraffin wax, 270 milliliters of perchlorate in the form of brakeline, 3,000 milliliters of deionized water, and 180 grams of pure salt. Other materials used were food coloring, ethylene glycol, and deionized water. First, we melted 1,000 milliliters of wax in an Erlenmeyer flask placed on top of a hot plate. After the wax melted, we poured it into the larger flask, which we used as the lamp. Then we added 80 milliliters of perchlorate to the wax in order to raise the density. After the wax had cooled to a gooey slime, we tested the wax in a solution of 80 milliliters of deionized water and 20 milliliters of ethylene glycol. More perchlorate was added until the wax solution sunk in the ethylene glycol solution. After testing the wax, it was time to create the salt brine solution. We mixed 30 grams of salt for every 500 milliliters of deionized water for a total of 3,000 milliliters of solution. We then added this to the big flask which we used for our lamp. First, we assayed the density of the wax using a mixture of ethylene glycol and water. And then when the density was just right so that it would sink, that would get the right de density differential between the wax and the water. So we use a, a salt solution here and no ethylene glycol so that the density difference is great enough that it will sink and rise when it's heated. Wax is insoluble in water. Water and wax also have similar densities. Because of this, the wax is able to float up and down easily in the salt water solution. When heat is applied to the bottom of the mixture, the heavier liquid, the wax, absorbs the heat. As it heats up, the wax expands and becomes less dense. Because wax and water have a very similar density, the formerly heavy liquid, the wax, is suddenly lighter than the water and is able to float. As it rises to the top, it cools off and becomes more dense and therefore heavier than the water again which is what makes it sink to the bottom this all happens in slow motion because absorption and dissipation of heat are a slow process the density changes are also very slight finding the correct density of the wax and the correct amount of heat to be added to the bottom is a trial and error process
it's not over. Ready? Oh, that was pretty cool.